everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so today's video we are going to discuss another fc ulu fate core but before that if you wanted updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button it's down below okay so we are here again so exos is actually has a habit of you know giving out fate cores to uh, multiple fate cores to to one hero so again this is an, another um another instance so again fc ulum has her other fate core which is actually more pleasing i think um aesthetically but before that let's discuss when it's going to be out it's going to be out tomorrow after the maintenance up to june 10th so main hero which is here is again it's for me it's inspired mainly by either oriental or steampunk or even both so for me this is actually a, a cuter design than the current fc ulu that we have then let's move on to additional stats so additional stat for attack would be 27 defense would be 71 health would be 216 and combat power would be 9000 which is usually your average and First and foremost, if you're asking me, shall I consider this if you already ha I have an, uh, the other FCU loom, the current one? So let's check out the passive first. So the difference for the passive is this FCU loom has block three. So it's the same. Test provoke um, affects, afflicts all enemies with provoke 10, 10 turns. If an enemy takes damage and their health falls below 30, and grants heal over time to self that heals for 20 of attack every turn for five turns gain one mana if own health is at 20 percent or less when triggered gain one ma as well if own health is at 70 percent or more when triggered okay so just to be clear the one that they are copying for this theme is flag of providence which gives um, Ulum a mark of increased defense by 20% for each back row hero in attack by 20% for each front row hero at the start of the battle. Obviously for Ulum, you will be opting for defense. So um, just to compare, the first version of, of her Fate Core had Bulwark of Will, which is damage reduction. Okay. Uh, and um, the other skill, if I can recall, is actually Survival Instinct, which is a heal over time uh, for Ulum when, when her HP actually goes below 50%. So, if I may say, I'm not sure if this is an upgrade of the previous one. This, this could have been suited with other characters, not necessarily for Ulum. That's my opinion. Um, I still think... Um, I hope that I'm wrong, but I still think that the previous version's passive is actually better than this one. There you have damage reduction and you have heal over time, which is actually the additional heals even if you have Talia in your team. So again, this is if the, the scenario would be would be good. If you're using Greenland for for this FC Ulum, you're going to have Talia in the front, FC Ulum the front, so that. Uh, 40% increase attack then for defense three at the back you will have 60% defense that can be good as well but I'm still hesitant if it's still enough if would, it would be enough so that um, FC Ulum would have um, staying power in the battlefield this is different from what we have with, with FC Naomi because FC Naomi had tons of passive um, to make himself more survivable in the battlefield that is why i'm i'm not really good with this this was uh, this is actually a watered down version i think of the fc loom the previous one so more or less fc naomi's kit was a bit better than this one because it had more sustainability for fc naomi but for this new fc loom fate core i don't think this is better than the previous one okay so for her S1, you have Cocoon Bomb. So deals 750% damage to one enemy and destroys the enemy's Garden Stones. Three random stones if you are tranquil. So same as the first one at 750% damage. 
then the S2 would be unchanging hard through deals 357% damage to all enemies. Same again as the previous FC, so it destroys the enemy's garden stones. Three random stones if you are tranquil. So same, nothing has changed. So again, only the passive has changed, only the aesthetic has changed. And more or less, if you are a Greenland, um, a Greenland fan or your nation is Greenland, more or less, it would be a toss-up whether you should pull for this one or you should use the old one. But for aesthetic sake, again, this FC has better aesthetics than the previous one, if I may say. Um, again, this is a, this is a more cuter look uh, and more or less very ornate and very good. Again, better than the previous one. So let's move on to the rates. So the rates for this one is uh, black and white ogre ulum so it's a black faded uh black rated fade core probability is 0.7 percent which is actually standard for your black fade cores uh, mileage um recruit mileage is actually 19 core mileages to require to to a toy to a guarantee obtained so the mileages are initialized each time the change up recruit is changed so same exclusive weapon is known as reverse betrayal so ulum's exclusive weapon um again i'm not i'm not really um for exclusive weapons if you have the extra zest and if you like again i won't blame you if you really really like her go for it but again if you're after the pluses for this exclusive weapon this is actually very much to spend on for an exclusive weapon um uh, combat power plus 3000 and, and attack plus 30 but again um I won't recommend an exclusive weapon because the pulling rate or the obtain rate is also at 0.7% and 19 core mileages as well. So it's like pulling for a fate core. So again, I won't suggest this unless you really want to complete the whole set and you really like FC Ulu, then go for it, be my guest. So again, my overall thoughts for this kit for FC Ulu. Cheat. You know she, she's actually not needed in in the current meta um it's it's actually a toss-up between the, the the previous one previous fc and this one i am not sure if the changes because again the passive that i that i mentioned was bulwark of will and survival instinct so those are the two then replaced with one which is um, Flag of Providence. So again, I'm not keen on this. If they retained one probably from the previous one and plus this one, it could have been better. Like for example, if they retained the Survival Instinct with uh, Heal Over Time, I would be happy, happier because again, it gives her a bit of more survivability with the Heal Over Time. And more or less, again, Ulum is not really crucial in the meta. Um, she is actually more of your secondary group for Greenland. And again, it would really be up to you guys if you want this version of FC Ulum. If you really want her, if you're really into her costume and on how she looks currently, then be my guest. Knock yourself out. But again, if you ask me if, if this new FC is going to affect the meta, no i don't think so so more or less save your zest um the next would be if i'm not mistaken would be burn of us uh and burn of us is actually linombe so if you are a linombe nation um nation uh player then burn of us is one for you for greenland then if you really want this then this is actually one for you as well again it depends on if you prefer the old version or the new version for me, I don't think um, it is a big difference from the old version. So again, guys, it's up to you to decide. So thank you guys for staying um, this far in this video for those who have uh, gone to the end. Um, also, please consider subscribing. Please put a like and please click the bell icon so that you can receive um, updated EXO's Heroes content. Also, guys, um, if you have any comments um, on this video on this new FCU loom, please put them down in the comment section below. Stay safe, take care. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.